I gathered 40 GeoGuessr tips, some of which most pros don't even know, that will make you 10 times better at GeoGuessr than when you were before. Enjoy. I'm gonna break this video down by regions to make it more consumable. So let's start with Asia. A very helpful tip for when you're in Thailand is if you see these fences on the side of the road, like these concrete fences with holes in them, more than likely you have to be in Amnat Sharon, which is this like Northeast city over here. It's very, very common you get these fences with these holes in them. Sometimes they might look a little bit different than this, but if you see holes in these fences, you're gonna be in this region of Thailand. Turkey is a very hard country to region guess, so I have two tips from a Turkish pro that will really help region guessing in Turkey, both of them being water tanks. If you see this T-shaped water tank that is literally shaped like a T, you have to be in these regions of Turkey. And if you see this circular water tank, they're always white, you have to be in this region of Turkey. Let's move to Indonesia, which is incredibly difficult to region guess. I have three helpful tips that will help your Indonesian guessing. This bollard right here with the yellow, white, black, and it's like concrete, is only found in central Sulawesi. So if you see this bollard, you're going to be in central Sulawesi, which is this region of Sulawesi that's central. So remember, yellow, white, black. Very, very helpful. Another random tip that's extremely helpful in region guessing is this green pavement on bridges. If you see this green pavement on bridges, you have to be in central Kalimantan, which is this region on Borneo Island. I'm just gonna guess this one and it was one more south but we'll take that it was central Kalimantan. very very helpful tip in this video i'm also going to cover some more meta tips where it's maybe not more things you would see in real life but things that are distinct to the coverage of google and one of those being this blur you get on the camera in north Kalimantan in indonesia it looks kind of like a, a foggy tint on the camera but you'll see if i turn around it's it's not very apparent but when you look in front of you you can see there's like a slight blur and that means you're going to be in north Kalimantan's gen 4 coverage so I'm gonna go somewhere up here and hope for the best and it was that road. And then also, if you know you're in Mongolia because you see the roof rack with the snorkel and the iconic Mongolian car here, but you have a sunset, this is what we call sunset coverage, where Google took the coverage during a sunset. You have to be in Dalin Zajid, which is a Southern Mongolian city right here. That is the only city in Mongolia with sunset coverage. So it was Dalin Zajid, very, very helpful. It's only fitting I do like five tips for Russia as well, as Russia is notoriously one of the most hardest countries to region guess in. So here's like five tips that are extremely niche that will really, really help. If you see these white and red striped poles, you have to be in Ulyanovsk Oblast, which is any of the nearby cities in this like Oblast region of Russia. Sometimes it's the capital, sometimes it could be any of these other random cities, but it's very distinct to this Oblast. Red and white striped poles, Ulyanovsk, Russia. Very, very helpful. Nice. And if you see these thick, like distinct black and white striped poles, um, you have to be in Samara Oblast, which is south of Lunovsk. Another very, very helpful tip. Um, also, don't get those confused with these black and white striped poles, which are found all over Russia. And another very helpful region guessing tip in Russia is if you have long antenna and it feels Russian, you might see Cyrillic. You're going to be in Kaliningrad, which is like this exclave separated over here by Poland and Lithuania. Um, this is Russian territory called Kaliningrad. And all of the Kaliningrad coverage was covered during autumn. So you get this autumn coverage in Kaliningrad, which is extremely helpful in region guessing. We'll take that. So if you're in Russia and you notice it's super, super sandy, and you can see like this like sand in the distance and on the side of the road, and it just feels super sandy, you're gonna be very north up here near Sergut. It could be pretty far west, but the sand in Russia is very, very common up here near this river. So if you see sand, guess near Sergut, and you should be pretty good. Nice. And if you see this cabbage on the side of the road in Russia, you're gonna be in this Eastern Island over here, and usually more south where it grows more often. A very distinct cabbage that's only found in this region of Russia. And Hokkaido, Japan is where it really only grows. But if you're in Russia because you don't have low cam like Japan does, and you see Cyrillic or something, and you see this cabbage, you have to be in this region of Russia here. Nice. Before I get into Europe tips here, I just want to quickly mention that I've started a Patreon with five other pros, Steek, Blinky, Kodiak, Boki, and Derziggy, and myself. We'll be posting three times a week on my Patreon, going through very, very high level tips, tricks, breaking down world record attempts, going for world records, and just very, very high level gameplay on how pros train and watching them go for different attempts, competitive gameplay, things like that, where the goal is to really one, learn. It's going to be extremely valuable to get better at the game, to hear directly from the pros themselves. And then two, get closer with the community. You can get to know Steek. Bogey, Kodiak, Blinky, Derzig, myself, as we're going to be breaking down all these different guesses and practicing for tournaments and kind of just going through the day in, day out of just training together. And three is to just help grow this community. Everything made from this Patreon will go directly back into this community from tournaments to directly the pros themselves. So this is what I'm doing to help really fund and grow this community into something really special for us all to grow together. So if you guys want to give it a shot, it would mean the world to me. If not, enjoy this free content because this isn't going anywhere. Back to the tips. Let's talk about Europe. A very distinct feature to frame 
France is this antenna. This antenna with like a long antenna with this flag on it, sometimes it's blue, is only found in France. And do not get this confused with this flag, which is found in Czechia, Slovakia, Romania, Hungary, and Bulgaria. They're very different. This one with a long antenna, different colored flag, is only found in France. Let's go to Central. We'll take that. Another very helpful tip is Estonian's green blur. You can see in most of Estonia's coverage that there's a slight green tint across the whole country. The more you play, the more you can kind of see it, but there's just a slight green hue across all of Estonia that is distinct from other countries. So if you see this green tint on the coverage and you're in between the Baltics, you have to be in Estonia. Okay, so a very, very niche tip is these black and white striped concrete poles are only found in Constanza County, Romania, which is like this eastern county over here. So if you see these black and white striped poles, you have to be in this region of Romania. And this was the flag I was talking about that's slightly different. This flag right here is found in Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria. So very helpful there. But these distinct poles are only found in this region. Also, there's other countries that have black and white striped poles like Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Peru. But these are distinct. And if you know you're in Europe and you see these, you have to be in Romania. So don't get these confused with the other poles. Nice. Another really good region guessing tip in Europe is if you know you're in Spain because you have yellow reflectors and you have this yellow bollard with like this yellow reflector as well, you have to be in Spain. But if you have this green top on top of the bollard, you have to be in Extremadura, Spain, which is this Western region over here. This is distinct only to this region of Spain. So if you see a green top on the bollard, you have to be in this region. And this is also a very, very niche tip that's extremely helpful. If you see this large green truck following you across Europe, you have to be in this western road from Kachevo down more south here along the E65, where this truck follows the Google car the whole time. It's extremely helpful in rare circumstances, but it's paid off a lot of times for high scores, so very, very helpful. As far as understanding North Macedonia, if you're in Europe and you don't have an antenna on the back of your car, you're usually going to be in North Macedonia or Serbia, so that's also very helpful. But this green truck plus no antenna in Europe is going to be somewhere along this road. And it was just outside the city there. Let's cover some tips in Africa. So it's very easy to tell when you're in Kenya because of the snorkel, but region guessing in Kenya is sometimes more difficult. A helpful meta tip to learn in Kenya, if you see three smudges on the camera, you're gonna be on the A3, which is this road over here that goes pretty far west near Nairobi. But the three smudges on the camera is distinct to the A3 in Kenya. If you see the smudges and you know you're in Kenya, go on the A3 and flex to the homies because you knew the road. Let's go. Another meta tip in Africa is in Senegal. If you see the rift in the sky in Africa, you know you're gonna be in Senegal. This red snake is what we call it in the pro community, is only found in this Western road over here. I'll, I'll put up a map on the screen of the exact road it's found. It's very distinct to this road in Senegal. Region guessing Botswana can sometimes be difficult as well. So I have a couple tips here in Botswana that should be very, very helpful. One, as far as like actually understanding it's Botswana, it's very, very flat. You shouldn't see any hills. You have the white car driving left and usually very rural. But as far as region guessing in Botswana, the more north you get or very, very north, you get this more sandy side of the roads. You don't really find the sand very much south at all. So if you see sand in Botswana, you should guess somewhat north. And also you get these palm trees more north as well. More commonly in Nata, you can find some in Maun, somewhere more northwest. But these distinct palms are only found in Nata. Nata. My pronunciation during this video is gonna be tough. I'm sorry. I'm trying my hardest. Nice. Another Southern Africa tip is Eswatini. So Eswatini driving left is similar as South Africa. Some people are very, very hard to distinguish South Africa and Eswatini. If you see this tall grass on the side of the road, you're gonna be in Eswatini. It's called Eswatini grass usually. Also more general tip, South Africa drives left with yellow outer lines, very distinct from Australia, which a lot of maybe new players might get confused. If you see yellow outer lines, don't go Australia. But distinct feature to Eswatini is the tall grass. And in Eswatini on the Eastern road, you get this ridge to the east here. So if you're on this Eastern road, down here on the MR8, you're going to have this ridge to the east. So it's a very distinct thing to know the road in Eswatini. And it was the MR8. Let's move on to Oceania and let's start with New Zealand. New Zealand is a pretty, maybe sometimes more difficult country to region guess as well in, but something important to know about New Zealand is that every major city in New Zealand has distinct road signs. And one of the most distinct ones is Wellington. Wellington uses this green rectangle on the road signs. So if you see this green text and green square, you have to be in Wellington, New Zealand. Nice. And the other big New Zealand tip, New Zealand and Australia bollards. The red strip on New Zealand goes from end to end and in Australia, the bollard, it stops in the middle. So you get white on the outer edges of Australia's bollard. So if it's red and goes end to end, driving left, you're gonna be in New Zealand. As far as region guessing New Zealand again, if you see these vineyards, you're gonna be near Blenheim. So the, these, these vineyards are very, very common near this region, tried and true. If you see vineyards, go here in New Zealand and hope for the best. 
We'll take it. Let's move on to Australia. A good distinct feature of Queensland is this black paint with numbers. So if you see this black kind of rectangle, sometimes it's faded on poles, but it should be there in most poles. This is very distinct to Queensland and Australia. So if you see that, go Queensland. A very, very helpful tip for Western Australia is these yellow signs. So if you see these yellow poles in Australia, you have to be in Western Australia. It's very, very distinct to Western Australia here. So I'm just gonna go Perth here because we have the yellow pole on the sign. You can see it's all over the place here and it's very, very distinct to WA. Nice. So to know you're an NSW in Australia, there's a few hints. I'm gonna cover the basics here. One being yellow plates, very, very common in NSW. If you see yellow plates in Australia, go NSW, unless you think the car's traveling. Cars do have four wheels, so it's possible. But something that doesn't move is the no stopping sign. NSW is the only state in Australia that uses a red no stopping sign. Every other state uses a white one. So if you see a red no stopping sign in Australia, you have to be in NSW and we'll take it. And then a very helpful tip for like rural South Australia is the gap in the road line. For some reason, South Australia is the only state in Australia that has a gap in their outer road line. So if you see like the small mini hole in the road line, you can see them over here as well. If you see this, send South Australia. We'll take it. Let's move on to South America. South America can be very tricky to region guess in, so I hope these tips help. Immediately, we're gonna be in Brazil. We have the Brazilian ladder pole here, which is framed like a ladder, which is extremely helpful. But oftentimes, region guessing in Brazil can be extremely difficult. A very helpful tip I use is that if you see wooden houses in Brazil with stilts, you're going to be in Acre, which is this Western region over here that very distinctly has these wooden houses on stilts. Nice. Another really helpful region guessing tip in Brazil is if it's super, super dry, you're gonna be in Northeast Brazil. It's very distinct climate where it's really the only place that gets this dry in Brazil. So if it's like very arid, very warm, you're gonna be in this region of Brazil, somewhere here in the Northeast. These fences right here are also very common in the Northeast of Brazil. So keep that in mind as well. In Peru, you get these Northern shrubs. It's like very, very common in North Peru. If you see these along the road here, you're gonna be in Northern Peru up here in this region. Nice. A very, very niche tip, but also extremely helpful is if you have Gen 4 coverage, which is this like blue, a very high saturated camera, newest coverage, and it's winter coverage in Argentina. And you can know it's Argentina because it's blacked out on the license plate, overall general feel, things like that. But you see it's winter coverage, which is like this like distinct cold wintry feel. You have to be in Bariloque, Argentina, which is a city over here east of Puerto Montt, Chile. If you see this wintry feel, you have to be in Bariloque in Argentina, if you're in Argentina. Getting Ecuador, sometimes it's a 50-50 between like Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, things like that. Anywhere really in South America, a good tell for Ecuador is these orange tinted license plates, which are distinct to Ecuador. So if you see these orange license plates, always guess Ecuador here. I'll take it. And the oh so coveted USA. I'm horrible at the USA, but I have a couple of tips I'm gonna share that really helped me out. So I hope that they will help you as well, which I know they will. And these are gonna be state specific tips. Starting with Texas. Texas pavement is very, 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 very grainy. It's very distinct. For some reason, Texas pavement is the only state that has like this very, very grainy pavement. You can see it all along the road here. So very grainy pavement, in Texas. And ooh, that was a good guess. This is the Alaskan pipeline, which if you see this exposed pipe, you're going to be in Alaska. Also, something to keep in mind about Alaska as well is they use yellow plates. I think when people know yellow plates in the US, they commonly think of like New York and New Jersey, but yellow plates is also in Alaska. So do not forget that. I've done it before, but with the yellow plates plus this exposed pipeline, you're going to be in Alaska somewhere up here. Nice. And then a very helpful tip for Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula over here is this sticker on the pole. This is found in like every single pole in Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula. It's like this orange at the top of this white sticker. It's only found in this region. If you see this in Wisconsin, it could be the Upper Peninsula here, but very, very distinct to this region. Nice. And then for West Virginia, country roads, sorry. This like circle on road signs is distinct to West Virginia. So if you see this, go West Virginia because it's, it's it can only be there. Circle equal West Virginia. Nice. Let's end the video off with some Canada. A very, very helpful one is BC. To know you're in BC, a very common trick is the back of the signs in BC are very commonly green. It doesn't mean that every sign is gonna be green, as you can see, but very common that the back of signs are green. So if you see a green painted back, you're gonna be in BC. Nice. This is a very niche tip to Toronto, but this light post that's like very bendy and goes out into the road like this is a Toronto specific light pole. We take those. And then Manitoba is the only province in Canada that uses this like green, white, green sticker on their stop signs. So if you see this, you're gonna be in Manitoba. We'll send it. 
and it was. And then to know you're in Ontario, this is another distinct feature, this black bar on the bottom of their speed limit signs. So that's very distinct to Ontario. It usually has text on it. It's a black bar. No other province in Canada has this black border at the bottom. So if you see that, send Ontario. It goes very south, but it was Ontario. So nice. All right, those are the tips I had for today. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed and that was helpful because these are things I use on a daily basis to make guesses. So I really, really hope you enjoyed. As I also mentioned earlier in the video, I just launched a professional GeoGuessr Patreon where me and five other pros are going to be grinding out three videos a week where we're talking through more tips like this, how to become better, grinding world records, going through world record runs, breaking them down. It's me, Boki, Steek, Kodiak, Blinky, and Dare Ziggy. Everyone there has their own skill set and specialty that we're really going to get nitty gritty into the high level gameplay and competitive 2v2s, 1v1s. You can see things like Steek's POV, Steek's going to be talking, which is rare. So things like this, where if you really care about the community and you really want to see behind the curtains and you really want to see like high level gameplay and the competitive nature of like practicing for tournaments and things like that, I would really appreciate if you guys checked it out. Everything made from the Patreon is going back into the community, whether it's the players themselves or my tournaments. The goal of this is to make this community really something special and grow. If you guys feel like supporting, I'd really appreciate it. If not, enjoy the YouTube content because I'm not going anywhere. There's hundreds of more things to go over in every single country. So I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. Please subscribe, like, or don't listen. It's up to you. I would appreciate it though. See you guys next time.